Well, this was a great week. With a team of only six members, we were wondering how much we could do, but for the most part, with the help of the Jamaican men, the team did extremely well. Extremely well indeed. Hi, my name is Bill Olson, and I'm from Rock Hill Bible Fellowship Church in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And my wife and uh, my wife Vicky and I were the team leaders for this mission trip in June 2016 down here in Buff Bay, Jamaica. My name is Vicki Olson and I am from Rock Hill Bible Fellowship in Rock Hill, South Carolina. This is my fifth time down in Jamaica for the, uh, the, um, the missions trip that our church sends out. But we, we usually have a group of churches that get together to actually participate in our mission trips. So this will be my fifth time. And my husband and I are uh, co-leading this missions team and it has been a great team so far. The school visits here are totally different from anything that you will ever experience in the U.S. because they, the, the children are just so excited to hear what you have to say. Um, the administrators beg for us to come and share the gospel for, with these kids, which is something unheard of in the U.S. because of all the separation of church and state. So it's a real blessing to be able to come and share the gospel with these kids. And we had some wonderful, creative um, devotions this week with um, Sheila talking to the little kids and, and Brian doing a great uh, interactive uh, uh, thing with, with the kids that he, he talked to at the big school. He had a big group of kids to be able to talk to. And we just had a great time. So, yeah. Miss Sheila is fantastic with kids. Fantastic, far and away of our group the most comfortable with kids and they just responded to her. My name is Sheila Marshall and I'm from Faith Community Church in Norfolk, Virginia. This is my third mission trip here to Buff Bay, Jamaica. I love doing a devotion with the children because with the children they're so full of energy and you have to bring it. You have to be prepared to um, open their minds to what you're trying to get across to them and I love that and I love just the joy of hearing them sing songs of Zion. I love just being with children and interact because their response is instant. One of the most exciting things that I saw this week was um, some of the young men like Peter Jackson and Delroy, who participate in the non-school activities like visiting the hospital and going out to the uh, community um, street ministry. It was so inspiring to see their excitement and to see the fact that they want to pick up that slack. They see a need in their church body and they want to go and, and inspire their people to go do these things on a regular basis. Uh, especially Peter. He is just so on fire to change his church. And I think if he get a, gets a foothold, he's going to make some big changes. And I, he said something really, less, really interesting last night when we were talking about the fact that uh, Pastor Allen was sick. And while that's a sad thing, it seems to have been in God's timing because people have had to pick up the slack. So he saw this as almost a blessing from God that Pastor Allen had to take some time off. And so I think he's one of these people that is inspired. And I think he's going to take the reins and, and get his church moving. And I think that's a, an exciting thing. My name is Stacy Hope Lindsay and I'm from Rock Hill, South Carolina, and attend Rock Hill Bible Fellowship Church. Interacting with the women was really fun. It was interesting. Um, they're a little different when it comes to um, their boldness and talk, I guess you would say. 
Whereas I never thought of myself as being loud and outspoken <laughs> until I try to have a conversation. And so it was interesting um, because they're more soft-spoken. And so it, it was, it took more for me. Um, I had to put myself more out there in order to interact with them. The women's studies were pretty in-depth this year. Um, we only had three people here to, to do them, so we, we took big chunks of information to be able to present. Um, this year we talked about a really important topic. We talked about how to study the Bible, and then we moved on from there to how to apply the Bible. And then um, the final two days, we uh, participated in kind of a, a hands-on Bible study to show them how to apply what we just talked about. Uh, with the women's study, it was a little different because with the women, um, you can definitely feel the emotions that they are feeling because you've been through a lot of the things that you're talking about. So you want to uh, give them all you have in that area. Um, with the women, they have been through similar problems or struggles in their life. And just being able to let them know that someone, let someone else know that you've been there too and they're not the only persons that have been through that experience and how the Lord can take you through it. I really think, uh, listening to some of the feedback, that there is some need for this church to be able to apply these things in their, in their, in their church fellowship. And I, there's a real burden here. Um, several people came up and just mentioned how much this was needed for this group of people. So hopefully, instead of just this information being given to them, they will take it home and they will actually use it and apply it to their lives. Hello, I'm Brian Washington. I am from Faith Community Church, and this is actually my second time down here in Portland, Buff Bay, Jamaica. Um, I guess maybe when, when we first got here, I was maybe a little bit discouraged. I wasn't sure whether or not, um, or what this team was going to be capable of, but after um, just the first day, um, just going to church, you know, just seeing, you know, God work and God move, it, it just really, really showed me that, you know, no matter how few people are there, God is still in control of the situation. So that really just encouraged me. And each and every day that we went out, whether it was to do a devotion with the children at school, whether it was street preaching, um, whether it was going to the hospital and even preparing the bags, you know, the team, you know, God really used each and every person mightily to do his work and that was just a really big encouragement for me just to see God really use the few people that we had to cover so much ground. Uh, for the men's sessions we ended up having just one group meeting for everyone which I think was uh, needed. It was a benefit um, and what we talked about was first of all basic Christian doctrine and the importance of understanding the scripture in its broadest sense. And then we discuss the various types of cults and other types of churches that are popping up here in Jamaica that are presenting problems. And so we had some really good discussions about, uh, about the different types of religions. And uh, I think we all learned something uh, because it was a discussion-based format. The people here in Jamaica have already had plenty of experience dealing with these and they shared their experiences, they shared their strategies, they shared what they knew and we all worked together to come up with uh, just some really practical points and that was one of the overwhelming themes is you know what to do, now we've just got to follow through and do it. So this, uh, this mission trip has just been fantastic. My name is Michael Armstrong, and I belong to the Rock Hill Bible Fellowship Church, Rock Hill, South Carolina. And this is my um, third mission trip to Jamaica, Buff Bay, Jamaica, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. And um, I have found it being a very blessing uh, event. I met a lot of people that's in Christ, 
over here that really treated me with of love and compassion. I hadn't had a, a, a really negative or bad experience over here at all, you know. Even a lot of people that's not saved or born again, they still have been, uh, God have been giving me the straightaway, they've given me respect, and I'm looking forward to coming back here in the month of November. And my mission team members, I mean, I have, we have, we united from uh, my home uh, state, Rocky, South Carolina, and Virginia has been a really rewarding uh, experience. Yeah. So I just thank God for them. I thank God for the leadership that's here. I learn from people. I learn from people that's younger than me, you know. So I just thank God for this. And I'm looking forward to having a Holy Ghost time again in Jesus. The trip has just really been fun. It's been a lot of fun, team members um, getting to know each other and um, just spending time together made it easier to work for God and to um, form a cohesiveness. I have been able to expand what I thought I could do for God, but it was fun, I really enjoyed it. I just love the experience of coming to Jamaica. I love the people here because they are so real. I love the, um, the preparation of coming to Jamaica. I love the middle of being in Jamaica, but it's sad to have to have the ending of uh, being in Jamaica. So I'm looking forward to what the Lord's gonna do next year. Um, and I pray that I'm on this next trip as well and I've already got plans on how I can improve myself next year. I really hope I can come back down here again. I mean, I'm, I'm just really learning. Every time I come down here, I've learned to trust in the Lord just more and more and more. So it's just been a great opportunity to be around other Christians and just meet people who are just so passionate about serving Christ. It, it just really makes you um, just want to serve Christ even more. So it's, it's just been a wonderful experience. I'm thankful for the opportunity to come down here and just to share what God is doing in my life. Um, so hopefully I can be a blessing to someone else.